Impedigor is the movie I'm looking at today. I tried to find out what it means, and the closest thing I could find is Impedigo, which is a common and highly contagious skin infection that mainly affects infants and children. Impedigo usually appears as red sores on the face, especially around a child's nose and mouth, and on hands and feet. The sores burst and develop honey-colored crusts. Hope you weren't planning on eating a snack while watching this video. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights, a part of the Kings of Horror Network. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, remember to give this video a like, share with your buddies across the internet, click subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. Let's get the word out about this channel to new folks so that I can tame and tempt that all-important YouTube algorithm. All week, the Kings of Horror Network is running a contest giving away a copy of my new trade paperback, Grave Trancers, to a few lucky viewers. I apologize, but due to the current global situation, this is for U.S. viewers only. Just send an email to hello at kingsofhorror.com with the subject line reading, Give me that Grave Trancers, with your full mailing address and we will enter you in to be randomly chosen to receive a copy of Grave Trancers trade paperback. Please let your comic shop know that you want a copy of Grave Trancers. The final order cutoff is August 10th, and the book itself will be in stores September 2nd. More info down below. Impedigore, it's a film written and directed by Joko Anwar, and it's exclusive on Shudder. The reason I love international horror films like Impedigore is that many of them take risks that most Hollywood-produced films wouldn't dare do. Impedigore is a vicious little fable from Joko Anwar, the filmmaker that brought us Satan's Slaves and Ritual, a pair of films that once seen, they are extremely hard to forget. Anwar doesn't care if you're offended by the themes he covers in his films or the graphic lengths he will go to communicate them. Impedigore will most likely offend and disgust you. It's also a very strong thriller about age-old customs versus big city progressivism. More succinctly, the always relevant conflict between the old versus the young. In Pedagore begins with a highly suspenseful scene as Maya, played by Tara Basro, and her best friend Dini, Marissa Anita, chat with one another from their individual toll booths, an occupation that comes with both long lengths of boredom and contact with creepy drivers who pass by, take their ticket, and tend to leer at them. In this opening scene, Maya speaks of a creepy driver who makes her uncomfortable, and sure enough, he comes through shortly after. After a conflict that starts this film with a big old bang, Maya finds a clue that directs her back to her home village deep in the heart of Java to claim her former family's home. Looking for an excuse to get out of the city, Maya and Dinny venture into the jungle to reclaim her home and possibly sell it for a high profit. But these young gals have no idea what they're walking into, as the curse has befallen a village, and it all leads back to Maya's childhood home, a home haunted by ghosts of the past, and a village-wide curse that all babies are born without their skin. Impedigore capably communicates its story to the rift between tradition and progressivism by giving Maya and Dinny cocky and naive attitudes. Even though they're a little leery of the village and its populace, they strut through the jungle as if they own it. It is inconceivable to both gals that they would be in danger, and once things do escalate, it's hard for them to fully acknowledge just how deep in trouble they really are. This is the main theme for the first hour of the film, and it's a strong one. It's one I wish would have been written all the way to the end, but instead things get more reliant on the big horror set pieces, the taboo-breaking curse, and the over-the-top ending that is truly shocking and well-orchestrated. I feel up to a certain point, Impedigor is a film focused on strong themes, but those themes take a back seat as the film progresses past the hour mark into something truly darker. There's an old versus young conflict here, as I said before, even right up to the end of the film, where the ancient tribe leader forces one character to make a choice between Maya and her. But somewhere along the way, the film becomes entrenched in Indonesian folklore. This is no less fascinating, as it really dives deep in what plays out as almost a cautionary fable, explaining why the children in the village are born skinless, 
who cursed the village, and how it happened. I found this section interesting, but a little long in the tooth, and if there's a criticism to be made here, I would say that I think a good chunk of this section could have been summed up more quickly to make this a brisker and more consistently exciting film. I also had a bit of an issue with the consistency of characterization of Maya through the film. At the beginning, she's a ditzy city girl, screeching at the first sign of trouble. She's not really portrayed as a strong character. She's not really portrayed as very smart. And for a second, I thought she was being set up to be the first victim, and the spotlight would shift to the more cautious Dinny, who seemed to be the more sensible of the two in the intro. But by the climax of the film, Maya is still around, and is Sigourney weavering it up against the locals, full of confidence and vigor. I understand most final girls go through this metamorphosis, mustering the gumption to take on the antagonist by the end. But I think that the shift from Indonesian Valley Girl to Village Warrior was a leap that I don't think the story justifies. Despite those criticisms, Impetigor takes some ballsy risks involving how it treats the babies in this story. There are quite a few child deaths, most of them newborns, and that's going to be a tough watch for some, especially those viewers who are pregnant or with kids. Yes, this is a morbid subject matter, but it's a gripping horror that works at making the viewer feel uncomfortable, something quite frankly any good horror film should do and one Anwar is particularly capable of doing in most of his films. Even the shocking epilogue keeps the theme running and left me with my mouth wide open. Impetigor is savage cinema at its best. It's drenched in Indonesian folklore, heart-wrenching drama, and rock-solid storytelling. Anwar has delivered another effective shocker, proving that some of the gutsiest filmmaking is being done outside of our own borders. That'll do for today. If you like this video, please pound that thumbs up button. Share this video with your social media addicted pals. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on mlmillerwrites.com. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for alerts to be the first to see my future videos. Thanks so much for your time and take care. Stuck inside your reality, you